What's up guys and welcome back to the video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are starting all rides for New Mexico. We finished up finished up Arizona last week. Um, but first I have some important things to say about the series. So this series is gonna go on for a very long time. We still have the rest of the US states to do. And then, after the U.S., we're going to start doing by country. So, we're going to do Canada, we're going to do the U.K., we're going to do Japan, we're going to do Madrid, we're going to do, like, all of that stuff, like Spain. So, this is going to be a very long series. This series is easily going to be, we do one episode a week, it's, this series is easily going to last at least five years. So, yeah. That's if I still do this channel in five years, but I think I'll still be doing the channel in five years. M Train Vids will be turning into my main channel at some point, but I will still upload the same stuff on there. I missed 79 today, which was sad, but that's okay. But, anyways, let's get right into it. Okay. Hold up, I'm getting Discord notifications. Hold up, let me pull up the website now. Okay, here we are. So our first ride is Downdraft, which is your typical Downdraft thing. As you can see, it's just like the downdraft at Knobles. Catch some air, swoop down, and shoot back up again. Swing around while you dangle your, dangle your feet in the breeze. So, yeah. Next up is the Cliffhanger, which is the park's drop tower ride. Up, up, and up even higher. In fact, you'll be lifted 120 incredible feet into the air. It looks like a Larson drop tower. And then, then we have the, the park's only roller coaster, I believe, which is the New Mexico Rattler. It is a wooden roller coaster. Of course, I'll be giving you the stats of that towards the end of this video. Then we have the Music Express. Oh, hold up. Now we're about to read up the notes about New Mexico Rattler. Voted one of the top five, top 25 wooden roller coasters in the world. And then we have the Music the music Express, which is their Himalaya style ride. Take a spin up with the music aboard the Music Express. Then we have the Sidewinder, which is a pendulum ride. Can't tell. Might be Zamperla. I can't tell. It's definitely not a giant discovery. As you can see, it's not that big. But, yeah. This swinging, spinning monster at its highest point sends passengers twirling 80 feet in the air. So, yeah, it's not big at all. Then we have our last throw ride, which is the fireball, which is a Larson loop, of course. Experience this 80 foot high looping co roller, co roller coaster ride that will whip you upside down and back around 13 times in a minute. Then we have the carousel. Choose your favorite pointy and experience this classical carousel. Then you have a demolition disco. Enjoy this hot rod party of thumping music, amazing lights, and wild bumper cars. Oh, these are bumper cars. Right? Then you have Falling Star. Reach and grab the stars as you're lifted high into the air in a giant orbit that floats up and up. Then you can see it next to Music Express. It's that one thing in the background. Credit to their website for taking these pictures or credit to whoever took those pictures oh I forgot they do have one more roller coaster that is the galaxy New Mexico's first ever roller coaster is a fast paced is a fast paced 
ride for all roller coaster, uh, coaster lovers of all ages. Well, it looks like it's built by Schwarzkopf. We will find that out later. Next up is Rocky Mountain Rapids, just their log flume ride. Climb aboard a wet and wild ride along on the Rocky Mountain Rapids. Then we have the Sea Dragon, just the, the park swinging ship. Enjoy the swings and sways of this enormous pirate ship. Then you have the Tilt-A-Whirl, world famous Tilt-A-Whirl, of course it's your Tilt-A-Whirl tilt ride, I'm not going to say anything about it. You have the Train, which is the park's train ride. You have the Big Flush, which is looks like a water slide of some sort. You're on a tube and there's water at the bottom. So that's another water ride in the park. This big water coaster will send you through a twisting, winding pipeline of water fun. That, now we have all the Kitty Land attractions. We have Spinoroma, 16 riders experience this crazy figure, eight steel roller coaster. So that's another roller coaster. Um, you have Bowser Buggy, which is kids climb board behind the wheel of their very own dipping, turning, and bouncing dune buggy. You have the balloon wheel, which is a mini Ferris wheel. You have the doggy go round. Children love calling one of these oversized canines their own. Riding along behind the giant ears and following the dog in front. You have the frog hopper, which is a typical frog hopper style ride. You have the kitty bumper cars. You have the happy swing, which is your typical happy swing style ride. And they do have a water park here, but we will cover that in a different video. But anyways, now for the stats of the roller coasters here. Let me pull them up. Hold up. Cliffs Amusement Park Roller Coaster Database. Hold on. Okay, so first up we have Galaxy, which opened in 1977. This is a Cyclone it, Galaxy model built by SDC. It has no inversions. It has two cars per train. Riders are range two across the two doors for a total of eight riders per train. Then, of course, you have the park's main roller coaster, which is the New Mexico Rattler. It's a CCI winter roller coaster, which opened in 2002. Um, it is 2,750 feet long, 80 feet tall. The drop is 75 feet. Um, it has top speed 47 miles per hour. It has no inversions. It has a vertical angle of 52 degrees. Um, it has a tunnel. It's a minute and 15 seconds long. It only has one turn, six cars, riders in range two across, and two of those for a total of 24 rides per train. The trains are built by PTC, aka Philadelphia Tobacco Coasters. And then you have Spin Aroma, which opened in 2016. This is a SBF Visa Group spinning roller coaster. It is only 190 feet long, it's 14 feet tall, and it has no inversions. It has one train and four curves, riders are range two across and two of for a total of 16 riders per a car, or per train, I should say. Well, that is the stats. I probably will do a whole all stats video for Custom Music Park at some point. But I also give you the stats of this video, tell you all the rides, water park, will be coming in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Probably in the next week. I didn't even know this park had a water park until I went on their website. So I will be adding that to my plans in the coming weeks. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye!